All right, week four, I think. I can't keep track. I just follow what the app tells me. Uh, but it's Monday, so it's supposed to be an easier run, like shorter distance, not, no runs are easy, right? Well, maybe they are, but not for me. So, uh, about today's run, it's just another three mile, 12 minute pace, so it should take me 36 minutes. I've got both the stinkers with me. Uh, stinker one, stinker two. So, uh, yep, both with me today. Which means I'll probably have a hard time staying, well, I can't stay on pace by myself, let's be honest. Uh, but I'm, it'll make it a little bit harder, but I'm gonna try to keep it slower and follow the actual training pace I'm supposed to. There is some importance with running at a slower pace than what I can, even what I feel is comfortable. So uh, I am shorting myself on that slightly by doing this, by, by not keeping at pace. So I need to, I need to get better for sure. Uh, so hopefully today I can do that, but we'll see throughout the race. Uh, it's 36 degrees today. It's, it's kind of cloud covered, but it's actually, first day we've had in like a week or so above freezing so overall um it's chilly but it's not it's not too bad i'm i'm not uncomfortable by any means i still brought the jacket today uh just just because it looks like it might snow i'll point at the camera or point at the clouds here in a minute in case you guys want to see some clouds in utah i pretty sure they look like clouds everybody everywhere else though uh other things to know uh this is leading up to our half marathon this weekend. So I know a lot of training apps and a lot of advice actually recommend leading up to a race should be a very light week. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna to continue to follow the training program. Uh, the Run With Hal app is gonna yell at me this week because it wants me to do three miles today, cross train tomorrow, which will be an hour swim in the morning. And then it wants me to do four miles on Thursday, and then nine miles on Saturday. But really what it's gonna be is the three, the cross train, the four, and then on Saturday, I'm only gonna do three miles because we've got a 5K, and then we've got our half marathon on Sunday, so then I'm gonna throw 13 on top of that. And I'm sure that's gonna affect my grade it gives me. Uh, I'm at my start point. You can see my ice pile in the background that I don't wanna sit on, uh, but, I need to start my watch here in a second. But uh, anyways, so I'm not gonna go lighter. The reason for that is at this point, if this was my first half marathon, and so those of you running your first half marathon, don't do this. This is not, I thought I heard a vehicle put on this, like the river just picked up, or the river, the stream. We don't have rivers here. Uh, but yeah, don't do this because, and definitely take a lighter week if it's your first half marathon. Half marathons are not easy. I've just done, I did five last year. I'm, I'm confident enough in my ability to do one at the moment that I don't think this will negatively affect me too much. And also I'm running it with Stacy, and we'll talk more about this later this week, but her pace is slightly slower than mine. So it won't be, I'm not gonna be pushing too hard during it. So I'm not going for a personal best or anything at this one. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna pause now, start my watch and be back in a bit. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow or rain for the next two days. Um, it's like we might get a little bit today, but who knows? All right, so now with all the run details out of the way, uh, today's run actually has a little bit of a more interesting factor to it. I'm running while fasted, um, which 
I think it's pretty common to be honest for people that run early in the morning. It's like noon right now. So maybe not so common going too fast, working on that pace. But um, I'm running fasted kind of on purpose, but not really. Um, it's not something I typically do. Uh, but yesterday, which was Sunday, um, which I normally have like a cheat, cheat-ish weekend, like I'm allowed to do 1900 calories. Um, I don't do a run on Sunday though, it's also a rest day. But on Sunday, I hit my 1900 calories at about 4 p.m. Um, I was just, I was hungry, like all day. And about five o'clock rolled around and I had this at the moment, I thought, brilliant idea. Now let's take it back a little bit. I have done intermittent fasting in the past off and on. Uh, I'm not gonna go into benefits or negatives or whatever. You guys can do your own stuff on that. I have tried it though. So. Wait for the car. I have tried it though. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I hate it. I never do it for very long. I've done the whole, you know, like 16-8 uh, thing. I don't like that at all, I'll be honest. I know a lot of people do from what I've seen. Uh, but I've also done, you know, longer ones like 36 hours. Um, I think the longest I've gone is 50. Um, more out of curiosity, to be honest, to see if I could. I like to test myself and push myself. I think I'm still going too fast. Gotta slow down, guys. Slow down, stinkers. Good girls. Uh, but yeah, so I've done it in the past. I wouldn't say I'm currently doing any type of fasting whatsoever. Haven't been for a while. But back to the story. I had this brilliant idea. You know what? I've got tomorrow off Monday due to holiday that my company lets me have it off for. Um, I'm allowed to be a little low energy. I'll get my run in earlier. I'm gonna eat more today, which would be yesterday, more on the day that I was hungry. And you know what, I'm just not gonna eat tomorrow. And if I go into the day before with that mindset, I can probably do it, I've done it before. So my brilliant idea was, I'm gonna eat basically all of Monday's calories too on Sunday, because I was hungry, man, I was hungry. So uh, I looked at, you know, I get on normal weekdays, I get about 1650, I think, calories, 1650. And then I know I'm gonna do this run today. And that usually puts me in the bonus. It's gonna be about 1800 calories, to be honest, that I can, uh, that I can overeat. And because I can eat like this, I planned out an 1800 calorie meal and I went to town. Uh, I had, it was like 1800 and like 20 calories or whatever. Um, yeah, there's times where I do think I could be a competitive eater. I'm no beard meets food or anything, but there's times where I feel like I can go. I was still pretty hungry even after that, but I mean, at least I was good enough to hold off. But yeah, so, on Sunday, I ate my 1,900 calories and another 1,800 calories on that. So like 3,400 calories um, with the thought of fasting today and to make up for it. Do I recommend this? No, absolutely not. I'm not feeling any fatigue or anything at the moment. We're gonna go left here today. Here we go down the, uh, what Strava calls Little Hill. It's not little, but anyway, we're gonna go left. 
got some good old dogs barking at me. Which makes Panda pull. Because Panda doesn't want to deal with it. This is about the when coming back, the end of the Strava little hill. It's like 0.7, a, point, a seventh of a mile. Um, not a seventh, 70, three quarters of a mile. I don't know why I can't convert that in my head at the moment. But uh, starts down there at the bottom. But yeah, little hill. Normally, Panda's the one pulling me around a bit. You can see her, uh, her leash is loose. Give me slack, but all of here is uh, yanking me to the left constantly and forward. Um, that's not normally the problem. I don't know what's going on with her. But there we go, maybe that'll help keep her in line getting inside a panda. But yeah, that's better. I like that, dogs. All right, it's the first mile of our three mile run. It was 11.14, uh, where I mentioned I need to slow it down. The beginning of this, obviously, I need to work on that even more. So trying to bring it down some more. Doesn't help with the one dog yanking me. Not the dog that I normally is, but yeah. So back to the story about fasting. Uh, so I planned out a meal, 1800 calories, smashed it. Uh, and then shortly after that, looking at the calendar for the week to come, Knowing that I'm not going to eat all of Monday. So basically, my thought is, get up Tuesday, have something light, go do a swim, come back and, you know, resume life. Realized, we had scheduled a health and wellness check for Tuesday afternoon. Uh, roughly 4 p.m. And for the health and wellness check, Doctor requires, you know, a blood pull, which I'm not gonna go into that. I have a needle problem. I can do it, but anyways, a blood pull, and it requires us to be fasted from the night before. So I realized very quickly my basically it was gonna be a 36-hour fast because I was gonna go, you know, Sunday night while sleeping. All of awake Monday and then just sleep again Monday night and wake up and resume life is now very very close a 46 hour fast and is gonna require two workouts without fuel. Um so I kind of done gone screwed up there. I'm continuing with the plan because I gotta make up for yesterday's calories. Uh, overall, I guess Hungry Tyson doesn't think things through very well. And uh, yeah, not, not great. So as for today though, like I said, it's about noon. I'm at, uh, I don't know, 15 hours without food. Not a big deal actually right now. Uh, Basically just like a skip breakfast. I'm feeling okay. Of course it helps us only a three mile run. Uh, but I'm not feeling the effects yet. But I know come later tonight and tomorrow morning with that swim. Um, well, I'm gonna give an update then on how it went. But overall, I'm expecting this to not be pleasant. Um, at all. Hopefully I'm not too irritable with the people around me as I deal. Hopefully, I'm gonna do my best. Stacy will keep me in line. She's good at that, so, um, so we'll see. 
but yeah uh poor planning and thinking it through on my end for sure Had another runner up there doing my same route um i obviously can't see who they are not worried about you seeing who they are just got another runner out there doing the same route all right i hit our turnaround point then i'll go to this power pool we're at 1703 which puts me on track for 34 minutes 3406 um oh my goodness olive is making this a much harder run because i'm constantly fighting being pulled for whatever reason off the road i mean i already let her run on the sand i'll show you here in a minute but she like wants to even go further so i'm pulling constantly to the right while trying to maintain rate pace um but yeah i also need to slow it down a lot more starting the climb of little hill this is little hill from about the bottom i might have been slightly short from the official start of it oh my goodness you see this i don't know what's going on here she's not acting like she needs to go potty she's just literally pulling me further and further left this is come on olive but yeah i had a pace all right 11:47 mile two i'm maybe 100 200 meters away from the top of the little hill uh 2303 so about a minute ahead slowing it down for the uphill trying to slow it down overall because i'm supposed to uh, and then it beeps at me saying i managed to speed up uh one mile to go of course it's the worst mile uh it's the biggest climb i'll talk to you when i get there all right made my last turn I'm doing the final hill uh this is a road that lives up moves up to our dirt roads that we live on it's towards the mountain so it's always the steepest part always the hardest part before i started official marathon training and i was just doing half marathon training i actually run further down the main road here to cut my short my run short of having to run up this bit i was still pulling me to the side um because this was so hard like i'll have a heart rate of in the 140s 130s until i hit this and then i'll skyrocket 160s 170s 180s sometimes uh, for this final three quarter mile but as i started marathon training i figured i need to do this uh it's good for me ideally my marathon doesn't have any uphills like this i don't know i don't know the course yet for it uh but hopefully it doesn't have any uphills like this but in case it does i'm more prepared for them and if it doesn't i'm just that much stronger that's the way i like to think of it so i'm not doing where i was before where i purposely short this bit Come on, look at her. Just to the side constantly. That makes it so much harder. Um, but that's my thought. Anybody that's done this before, um, if you got any advice, besides heels are good. I mean, I don't mind that being reinforced either, to be honest, because they don't feel so good in the moment i'll tell you that um but yeah almost there almost there time to push uh sorry on how gross i look at the end of some of these races uh races some of the end of these runs um 
I haven't mastered how to look good after a training run. I haven't mastered how to look good. Uh, so, yeah, I'll figure that out maybe someday. Or maybe not. Almost there though. Okay, brace done. 34, 45, I think is what my watch said. Uh, 11, like 20. Getting close to that 12 minutes, still too fast. 400 calories. Um, I don't think it's the effects of the no food. While well, I think I'm technically in keto, cause I think I'm technically in ketosis now. I think that's what's called. Uh, or if it was the dog constantly pulling me to the side into the field, and for the last half mile, basically wanting to walk while I had to drag her. Uh, that made it hard. Three mile, definitely felt harder today than it has the last few weeks. Not that it's ever easy, but harder still. It's raining outside in February. We're at the pool. It's 5.55 a.m. I'm at I don't know how many hours. I think I'm just under 36 hours, like 30, 35 hours fasted. I'll take a screenshot here in a second. I'm a little hungry, not feeling too bad. I'm really tired. I do think though that this is gonna, doing this swim is gonna make me hungry. So let's get to it. All right, take two. I'm at 36 hours now without anything except coffee and water nothing this morning because I just woke up and came here uh, I'm still not that hungry except for mentally like I want to eat mentally but my body I'm not getting the signals from my body also I thought I would be slower and lethargic I swam 75 yards further today so a new record in my time limit and I did a hundred yards of that as a breaststroke and 25 yards as a back backstroke I don't know what they call that uh, so, which are significantly slower, at least for me. Um, I'm not a swimming expert, so I think they are for most, but. So 125 yards with a slower stroke, and I still did 75 yards more. So I'm not weaker yet, yet. Um, I think work's gonna be a drag though. I've gotta basically go through a full work day and try not to think about food and then go to the doctor and then finally get some food. I think I'm gonna have a donut today, for sure. Uh, but overall, good lap swim. All right, I'm about 46 and a half hours fasted just due to the poor planning, finally over. Uh, I had my blood work done and a donut as a reward for waiting so long. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Anyway, Keep pushing, y'all. No.